Hi, I am Arthraglada, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, PG Department of Mathematics, Vellalar College for Women. Today, let's going to discuss about moment of a force and couples in statics. First, what is statics? Under the influence of forces, bodies may be either in motion or rest. If bodies remain at rest when acted on by forces is called statics. First, moment, that means movement of an object by applying external forces. When forces act on a particle, the only motion that can occur is a motion of translation, but a force acting on a rigid body may produce either a motion of translation or rotation or of translation and rotation combined. When there is a motion of translation alone, the force is measured by the product of the mass of the particle and the acceleration produced on it by the force. In case of rotation, the idea of the turning effect or movement of a force is introduced. For example, imagine a cardboard pivoted freely at a fixed point O. If a force acts along a straight line AB, it is clear that there will be no rotation if AB passes through O. If AB does not pass through O, the force will tend to rotate the seat about O. This tendency to rotate the body will increase as the magnitude of the force increases and also as the perpendicular distance from O on the line of action of the force increases. Let the perpendicular distance from the point O about which moment is taken to the line of action of the force be ON. Let magnitude of force F be capital F. Hence we have the formula for moment that is equal to capital F into ON where F is nothing but the magnitude of the force and ON is nothing but the perpendicular distance from the point O about which moment is taken to the line of action of the force. Here we have two cases for the moment. Uh, first case, either F is equal to 0 or ON is equal to 0. If F is equal to 0, there will be no force. If ON is equal to 0, the line of action of the force passes through that point about which moment is taken. So finally we have introduction to moments. The tendency of a force to rotate a rigid body about any defined axis is called the moment of the force. Next, the moment M of a force about a point provides a measure of the tendency for rotation sometimes called a torque. So moment is equal to F into D. So F is nothing but the magnitude of the force and D is nothing but the perpendicular distance from the point about which moment is taken to the line of action of the force. Moment caused by a force. The moment of force F about an axis through point A or for short the moment of F about A is the product of the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance between point A and the line of action of force capital F. So we have moment about A is equal to as usual F into D product of magnitude of the force and perpendicular distance. Next applications we know that beams are often used to bridge gaps in walls we have to know what the effect of the force on the beam will have on the beam supports. What do you think those impacts are at points A on B? Next, carpenters often use a hammer in this way to pull a stubborn nail through what shot of action does the force FH that means force at hand at the handle pull the nail. How can you mathematically model the effect of force FH at a point O? Next, properties of a moment. Moments not only have a magnitude, they also have a sense to them. The sense of a moment is clockwise or counterclockwise depending on which way it will tend to make the object rotate. If we rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction by applying external forces, the moment is calculated as positive. If we tend to rotate the body in clockwise direction by applying external forces, moment is calculated as negative. Next, the sense of a moment is defined by the direction it is acting on the axis and can be found using right hand rule. So as usual, moment in anti-clockwise direction about the point O, so moment is equal to the force F into perpendicular distance from the point O to the line of action of the force. Very important part of under moments, variance theorem. The moment of a force about any axis is equal to the sum of the moments of its components about that axis. This means that resolving or replacing forces with their resultant force will not affect the moment on the object being analyzed.
the algebraic sum of the moments of two forces about any point in their plane is equal to the moment of their resultant about that point so we have to prove the last one how can we prove this we have two cases for the last one case 1 let the forces be parallel in case 2 let the forces meet at a point for first case if forces be parallel let us assume forces p and q acting at collinear points capital a and capital b respectively consider a point o on ib where o may be either inside ab or outside ab but in both cases that is either o inside or outside the algebraic sum of the moments of p and q about o is moment of r about o case 2 let the forces meet at a point we complete the proof by using parallelogram law here also we have to assume the point o either inside or outside of a line parallel to the line of action of the first force but in both cases we have the conclusion that the algebraic sum of moment of those forces about o is the moment of their resultant finally we have the statement of varigan's theorem next in two dimensional case the magnitude of the moment is mo is equal to fd so mo moment about the point o in diagram we, we are applying force here so we have to take moment about o to the force moment about o is equal to the product of f and d f is magnitude of the force and d is nothing but the perpendicular distance from the point about which moment is taken to the line of action of the force as soon d is the perpendicular distance from the point o to the line of action of the force in 2d the direction of mo is either clockwise or counter clockwise depending on the tendency for rotation here we have anti clockwise the moment is calculated as positive next example a 100 pound vertical force is applied to the end of a lever which is attached to a shaft at o determine moment about o horizontal force at a which creates the same moment smallest force at a which produces the same moment location for a 240 pound vertical force to produce the same moment whether any of the forces from bc and d is equivalent to the original force answers for first question we have to calculate moment about o that's very simple using the formula for moment so we know moment is equal to force into distance moment about o force given 100 pounds so we have to calculate the value of d so in diagram d is opposite adjacent side to 60 degree so we have to take cos ratio cos 60 degree is equal to d divided by hypotenuse 24 from the d is is equal to 24 into cos 60 degree cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into 24 is equal to 12 inches finally moment about o is equal to 100 into 12 that is 1200 pound inches so second question we have to find horizontal force at a that produces the same moment which we derived in the last that is mo is equal to 1200 so given moment is equal to 1200 and force we have to calculate and also we have to find corresponding d so here d is opposite side to 60 degree because we have horizontal force so we have right angle triangle here so we have to take cos ratio in this right angle triangle or sin ratio we have to take sin ratio so sin 60 degree is equal to d divided by hypotenuse so d is equal to sin 60 degree into 24 so sin 60 degree retest by root 3 by 2 24 into root 3 by 2 that is equal to 20.8 inches now moment is equal to f into d given moment is equal to 1200 just now d is equal to 20.8 so unknown value f from that f is equal to 1200 divided by 20.8 that is equal to force f is equal to 57.7 pound next we have to find the smallest force at a to produce the same moment occurs when the perpendicular distance is a maximum or when f is perpendicular to oe we know the formula very simple question moment about o is equal to fd given moment 1200 and d 24 inches we have to find the value of f from the relation 1200 is equal to f into 24 from the f is equal to 1200 by 24 that's equal to 50 pound so force is equal to 50 pound next determine the point of application of two 
40 pound force to produce the same moment. We have to find the point of application of the force to have the same moment 1200 pounds. So in diagram we have right angle triangle we know the formula for moment, moment is equal to F into D. Given parts M is equal to 1200, F is equal to 240 pounds. So we have to find corresponding D using the relation from the D is equal to 1200 by 240 that is equal to 5 inches. So in diagram we know the value of D 5 inches but we, we have to find the value of OB that is point of application of the force from O that is OB. OB is hypotenuse to 60 degree. We know the value of adjacent side so we have to take cos ratio in this right angle triangle. Cos 60 degree is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is D divided by OB. From that OB is equal to phi divided by cos 60 degree. Cos 60 degree replaced by 1 by 2 phi divided by 1 by 2 that is 10 inches. So the point of application from O is equal to 10 inches. The last question, although each of the forces in parts P, C and D produces the same moments as the 100 pound force. So here comparing those results from B, C and D, we are having different values for F. So in second case F is equal to 57.7 and C 50 and the question D, we have the force value is different 20, 240 pounds. So here we can conclude none of the forces is equivalent to the 100 pound force. Next, couples are free vectors. Two equal and unlike parallel forces not acting at the same point are said to constitute a couple. The moment of a couple is the product of either of the two forces of the couple and the perpendicular distance between them. The point of action of a couple does not matter. The plane that the couple is acting in does not matter. All that matters is the orientation of the plane the couple is acting in. Therefore, a force couple is said to be a free vector and can be applied at any point on the body it is acting. Basic properties of couples. The moment due to the force couple is normally placed at the Cartesian coordinate origin and resolved into its x, y, z components that is mx, my and mz. If two couples whose moments are equal and opposite act in the same plane upon a rigid body, they balance one another. Two couples in the same plane whose moments are equal and of the same sign are equivalent to one another. The effect of the couple upon a rigid body is not altered if it is transferred to a parallel plane provided its moments remains unchanged in magnitude and direction. Next, vector addition of couples. By applying Varigan's theorem to the forces in the couple, it can be proven that couples can be added and resolved as vectors. So, we understand those by the following diagrams. Next, force couple system. Two opposing force can be added to a rigid body without affecting the equilibrium of it. If there is a force acting at a distance from an axis, two forces of equal magnitude and opposite direction can be added at the axis without affecting the equilibrium of the rigid body. The original force and its opposing force at the axis make a couple that equates a moment on the rigid body. The other force at the axis results in the same force acting on the rigid body. Finally, force couple systems. The reverse of this is also true. Any force and moment acting at a point on a rigid body can be represented as one force at a distance from the original point where the moment of the force about the original point is equal to the original moment. Thank you for your kind listening.